Good morning, it's Thursday, April 14th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Taking Your Beds. And our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, where the Apostle Paul writes, For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. Medication time is somewhat tedious if you're the giver and the patient has four legs. But our dog, Welly, who is in a long-term relationship with chicken, in any shape, size, original, or extra crispy, gives me no problem with pills. I could wrap a lethal tarantula the size of Cleveland in an ounce of chicken skin and he'd swallow it like a vacuum inhales a feather. Problem solved. Well, overweight Shih Tzus aside, few people enjoy taking their meds. I could be biased, but nonetheless I'm one who utterly despises any medication, even though taking this stuff helps me keep breathing. Of late, when my doctor asks me how I'm doing, I simply growl, fine. It seems to be effective in avoiding more trips to the pharmacy. The Apostle Paul's words to the Corinthian believers sound somewhat like a doctor prescribing. Do this. It's an announcement of the cross, a reminder of the resurrection, and strength for when Jesus comes back. And truth be told, This was a vitally required spiritual medication for the Corinthian church. They were in dire need of healing for their selfish, hedonistic ways. They had little appreciation for the worship moment of the supper, which in their case had turned into a dinner on the grounds pig out. There are some who, for whatever reason, view the supper that way. It's a routine to be followed. Ho-hum, pass the bread and Welsh's please. It goes down like the regimented swallowing of a pill, absent-mindedly giving little or no thought to the holiness of the moment. Somehow, the magnitude of what's going on at the table is lost, and sadly enough, so is its grace-filled benefit. It leaves no lasting aroma like the gift of Mary's anointing of Jesus' feet with expensive perfume or savoring the taste of what Isaac Watts called sorrow and love flowing mingled down. For you today, Maundy Thursday of Holy Week is a particularly poignant time for celebrating the coming cross and eating the holy meal, remembering that passion of our Lord's sacrifice. Our eternal souls should not need the meal wrapped in chicken to go down gladly. So, let's go there, allowing the proverb writer the last word on taking our meds. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.